thanks for tuning in in today's video we are going to pack four super techniques into one video first we're going to learn how to do a long sleeve shirt next we're going to learn how to do an emblem to get cool effects inside we're going to learn how to do an emblem and v pattern combined we're going to learn the super trick to making that diamond emblem look like it's sitting on top of the V because when it comes to the die on this pattern, you have to do this one section a specific way where the whole shirt is shot. And finally, I'll teach you how to get spectacular sleeves, which are a key because they frame the whole picture. Come on in and check it out. Diverse design. Positive Energy Designs for Positive Energy People AKA Living for the Better Good of All It's what I do, it's what, the way I live, my mission, my passion in life. So today, we're going to take this long sleeve, long sleeve t-shirt that I got at Walmart. Now, I've already soaked it in soda ash for about 20 minutes and wrung it out to, and hung it till it's a just slightly damp. I got this at Walmart. Uh, now I actually turn these inside out because I'm doing ice dye and I place where the tag would be the back of the shirt face down Then I take the sleeve closest to me and I tuck that in I usually do that ahead of time I've already marked out my center points for Consideration of your time you just lift from those two front center points Now I tend to put this away from me at first so that once I match up my back points it makes it a little easier to work with the sleeves. Now actually before I match up my back points I want to tuck that inside its out sleeve down a little bit into the shirt to kind of help it out a little. Then I'll match up my end points from the back, match them up to the front. A lift and a shake. Now I'm gonna adjust my one hand to get to the middle of the bottom of the shirt. And I'm gonna tilt the shirt to try to start shaking that inside out sleeve down toward the shoulder so that I can get it shaking down inside the other sleeve. This didn't cooperate very well, <laughs> but I have to tell you, it is a beautiful, beautiful shirt. It's supposed to be a t-shirt, but it's much thicker. It's like halfway between a t-shirt and a sweatshirt. It's really cool. So after a few little adjustments there, I, I go to fix my sleeve. So in this case, I had to go in after it. If you do have to go in after it, always try to feel for this one seam and make sure that seam is toward the, toward the inside part of the sleeve, down toward the armpit side. And I just match those two seams up. If you don't match these up, it'll be really hard to get a, a clean, flat sleeve. And next, I gotta go way up in. thinner your forearms are for this the better fortunately I have long fingers so I can stretch my fingers out I use my other hand to hold the piece down and I start wiggling it back and forth and as I stretch my fingers to try to get that material as flat as I can pretty good now I'll give it a flip so that the actual front of the shirt is toward me a few final adjustments this is a little trick. If you place a yardstick diagonally in between the two folds of the t-shirt, it'll help get it in there nice and easy so that you can get that back seam. I just use a knitting needle for the collar. So now I'm going to measure out my diamond. I'm going to measure it out at six, about five inches, and I'm going to mark a center point two and a half inches right in between. Then from that center point, I measure out about two inches because I want it to be 
the diamond to be taller than wide. Here's the trick to get to getting something really cool here. I place my yardstick there and I roll it over once. So I have it lined up with my diamond and I roll it over once. Now it will tend to want to slide a little bit. And then I'm just going to mark that line all the way down and I roll it over twice. And I mark the line. Now this will be the tough one because you're rolling over that, that underarm part. But if you get it really right, see how it went right through the armpit, right through the very edge? So now we're going to learn how to do the diamond emblem or any emblem that has a pivot point to get really cool effects inside the emblem as well. Right on that side of the line as you're going down, you're trying to get all the folds to go right toward that center dot that I was just pointing to. Normally a five or six inch diamond will give you three or four folds down till you get to your pivot point. There's my pivot point. So I'm going to take my index finger, I'm going to place it there, and I'm going to use the other hand to rotate the shirt so I can continue down at what would be a straight line. It'll make some additional folds on both the inside and outside. You want to really, really work those. Key, key, key to dynamite emblems is that pivot point. So now again, I keep trying to work everything, that first fold down the new line, I'm trying to still work that toward that center point. And then after that, I'm just rolling straight folds. They will not go toward the center point. They'll just go straight across the diamond. I'm gonna spin it around so you get a good shot of what you should kind of look like. That'll make a spectacular emblem, something like that. Sorry to get it in focus there, something like that. So now I'm going to do folds from the bottom of the first line at the top. Once I get about two, maybe three folds, I'm going to start going from just underneath that, pulling up those bottom sections to keep them out of my way. Do one or two more folds. And now I can start to band that little bit of loose ends from the bottom. It'll make it a lot easier as I go to do the rest of my fan folds. Now here, I'm really only worrying about the one line, not the rest, but I, I will kind of play a little. I keep pushing my finger up toward the center of that emblem as I do each of these folds for this line because I really want these points to be tight now in here it, we've got to kind of pivot or bend that around line straight when you start getting toward that that armpit area the armpit area is a little tricky because that material is so much thicker there from a seam and up here toward the collar keep pulling that up like you're pulling the collar straight up Straighten up our line. And we take our string or sinew or whatever you're using and we just bind that up nice and tight. Then I clean up my next line, making sure to get in between each fold that all the folds went clean all the way down. 
and pushing, keep pushing that end up toward that, toward the top. And wash, rinse, repeat. So now the trick that dynamites leaves every time. Just do 45 degree angle fan folds and it doesn't matter which direction you go in. You can go from what would be considered the armpit side of the sleeve upwards toward the outside of the sleeve or vice versa. As long as you do a 45 degree angle you'll get a cool effect. If you go upwards from inside to outside, like I'm doing here, it'll turn your V pattern into an M looking pattern when you see it in the final result. If you do it the opposite way, the 45 degree angle, it'll just look like your V pattern continues all the way out through your sleeves, which is pretty cool too. So as you can see, I'm just finishing that fan, those fans at the top. I'll give it a couple little rubber bands just to bind that up. Now, when you go to do the die, we're gonna get to a very critical section. So here we are for our die. And I used a better blue green for the emblem itself diamonds. I used a better blue green also at the very very top of the collar of the shirt. Then I came in with a, a bright green underneath of that. Now I decided to do something kind of cool here. This outside line that's really where your shoulder and just down the top part of, of your upper arm outside of the sleeve go. I want to try to do that in like a, a bright green and maybe just a little bit of the, of the better blue green. Of the better blue green. Now here, you have to curve this line like this. I'm using the chartreuse. Uh, the combination I use all the time of chartreuse, palomino, gold, and chocolate brown. But you absolutely have to do this section. You have to go underneath the emblem with it down the line and then curve it around to where that first tie of the first segment is. Then you curve your palomino gold or whatever other color you're going to mix with in a little curve around that. And then I'm going to take chocolate brown and I'm going to put that on the inside of that and a little more of the bright green. Then I went with a teal blue, a little more of the bright green to mix in some of that better blue green. Then I did my combination of the chartreuse palomino gold and uh, golden brown. And then I went back to the teal blue, back to the bright green, back to, or I'm sorry, back to chartreuse palomino gold and uh, golden brown. And then the better blue green to finish it out. So we get some ice on it. We give it a couple hours. We check to see the underside to see, make sure it all went through. Then we give it a solid rinse in cold and warm and hot water. We wash it in central paw on hot and then we dry it on permanent press. We give it an iron and let's check out the final results. And here we go and as promised, our diamond and V emblem all combined. 
super diamond emblem that has real cool results on the inside of it. The sleeves are just like crazy. That better blue green mixed with the teal blue somehow made this really cool like almost seafoam color down toward the just above the wrists on the inside of the sleeves. It's a really cool looking shirt. So like I said, play with this. If you do these 45 degree angles, you'll hit these every time. I mean it. If you do them, like I said, where you slope upward from the inside of the sleeve out, you'll get something like this that turns your V into something like an M pattern. And if you do it vice versa, it'll just look like the V continues all the way through your sleeves, which is cool too. In fact, I'm going to give you some examples. This is how cool shirts should really be when you pull it all together. So as I said, if you look at the first one at the top on the left, that is where I'm going from upward from inside sleeve to outside of the sleeve. And that just makes it look like your V continue all the way through. If you do it the opposite way, you can get one of two results either it'll either look like the middle top one or the bottom left one now if you look at the one on the bottom right that was a sunset i did over the ocean with a little beach i give full credit for that one to uh, kurt wallace over at tie-dye skies in columbia his video on how to do a sunset but if you look at the sleeves I mean they they match the way the water ripples are all the way down even down to toward the beach and that's the way you want that to be if those sleeves hadn't carried all the way through that shirt wouldn't have been anywhere near as good as it ended up being so definitely give it a try again thank you so much for tuning in Please, please, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I spend about six and a half hours, and I've spent probably close to $1,000 putting everything together for you guys just for a six-minute video. Just give me a one-second click. Do something good for somebody else. You'll feel good doing it, and it makes it a win-win situation for both of us. Go ahead and click that button. You know you want to feel good. I promise you will. Till next time, I am Diverse Designs. Living for the better good of all, I hope you are too.